I'm Gretchen Kohler and I'm making this video today because I was looking for a stand that I could attach to a tripod in order to make at home videos and be able to move that tripod around the house so that I didn't have to keep trying to find a piece of furniture that was tall enough for what I wanted and then put boxes on it or, or that kind of thing. So uh, this is the end product that I ended up making. I'm gonna show you how to make it today. It's incredibly simple. You'll see here that I have my tripod. This is a tripod that came with a lighting kit. It's a standard tripod, comes with most lighting kits that you'll buy, um, including the typical ring light that you might buy online to make at home videos. So it has a quarter inch screw that protrudes out of the top. And this is what I needed to figure out how to use as sort of the attachment mechanism. So I thought that I would be able to use a table leg mounting plate. Um, and I went to the hardware store this morning looking for that. However, a table leg mounting plate has a hole that's slightly larger than what this quarter inch screw will need. I probably could have still gotten away with it if I would have used plumber's tape, but that means that I would have had to deal with putting plumber's tape on every single time I wanted to take my tripod and turn it into my laptop stand. And that wasn't something that seemed ideal to me. So I found a gentleman in the lumber section who was incredibly helpful and interested in my project and helped me figure out what the right thing to do was. And what that thing was, was that we found these guys, they're called insert nuts. And these are quarter inch insert nuts naturally so that they fit the quarter inch screw. And they actually helpfully come with uh, directions on everything else that you'll need for this project. So you'll need to make an 11 32nd inch hole into the work piece, which is the board that you're going to use. And you'll need a six millimeter key to tighten the insert nut into the hole. Um, I didn't actually have an 11 32nd inch drill bit. So I looked at what I had at home and uh, my five sixteenths drill bit ended up being the right size for me to be able to use. So I drilled the hole into this board that they helpfully cut for me at Home Depot this morning. And I inserted the insert nut into the board. So you can see it's in the hole here. I drilled the hole all the way through the board. This is a three quarter inch board. So it went just to the other side. It was actually the perfect length. And then I decided that I wanted this to be a little bit of a cleaner look, actually cracked the board a little bit when I drilled through. I guess I don't know my own strength. And uh, I attached this washer uh, just to give it a more finished look to it. And because I don't like working with glue very much, I attached it using some Gorilla Tape. I just cut it down into tiny pieces and stuck it on there. So how does this work? Take the little table that you've made and you simply screw it right down onto your tripod. So screw it till it's tight. There we go. Go ahead and set your laptop on it and you're in business. I hope this helps. It will definitely save you some money. It cost me, this was actually kind of expensive because it was a pre-finished board. Normally I would use one that I already had at home, uh, but I wanted to make sure that I was getting all the right supplies. So they cut this by the foot at Home Depot cost me $7 for the piece of board, which is pretty expensive, but uh, a lot cheaper than, um, than buying one of these stands online, which costs about 30 to $40. The insert nuts that you need, again, they're the quarter inch. They cost me a couple bucks. And I actually already had the six millimeter hex key that I needed uh, because I just put together a lot of furniture projects and things like that anyways, but these are pretty easy to find and only cost a couple bucks as well. Same with the washer, if you decide you wanna uh, grab that. And probably what might be the most expensive thing other than the board itself will be the Gorilla Tape, but you know you don't have to add the washer if you don't want to, or you could just use some inexpensive glue. So as long as you've got a drill, some drill bits, um, and you know how to use it, you can get this project done in about two minutes flat. And uh, you could probably make about four of these for the price that you would pay to buy one online. Hope this helps, enjoy, happy video making.